A UK variant of the coronavirus could become the dominant strain of cases in Louisiana. That warning tonight from Governor Edwards. The strain has been identified in three cases in Louisiana so far. The latest in Lake Charles and New Orleans. There are 14 other cases being evaluated to determine if they are the same strain, which transmits much faster than the original strain of the coronavirus. And because of that, there is a renewed effort to get people to mask up. Three's on the street tonight. Iman Boyd in Lafayette with the story. Iman. Now, enforcement of the governor's mask mandate has been an ongoing issue here in Lafayette Parish. Two city council members proposed the same ordinance last summer, but they plan to repropose it again for a local mask mandate. And it has the support of some of those who have been affected by COVID-19, except for the Lafayette mayor president. These very basic, very minimum uh, actions and behaviors are proven to save lives. Lafayette native Peter Grisco lost his father David to COVID-19 earlier this month. Now he and his siblings are advocating to have local government enforce the statewide mask mandate. He's met with the mayor president on the issue. So his response is that uh, what we're doing now is good enough for the community, which is which is something I, I reject. And it's something that that is just unacceptable um, and and I'm going to turn around and I'm going to plead for our business leaders, our community leaders, and our elected officials to please help in these efforts. How about that? Yes. yes. Bring it up. Yes. Yeah. Lafayette Mayor President Josh Guillory spoke before a mostly maskless gathering of a group called Acadiana Patriots. Guillory made his stance on a mandate clear. When I'm sitting right there and I'm, I'm around those, okay, it's my duty, my personal responsibility under a world pandemic, I'm going to choose to wear a mask. And that's what I did. And that's what I did. That's what I carried around, okay? I don't need the government to tell me that, and you, do, you don't either. When questioned if he'd veto an ordinance presented by council members. You know, we all want to be safe. We all want to find ways for solutions, so I'm not going to berate these guys for promoting it. Hey, have the conversation. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. We might be able to find common ground. But I, I, put, the, I put faith in people way more than I do government. I lost my dad from, from complications due to COVID uh, earlier this month, and it was a preventable death and he was taken from us uh, too early. He had, he had life to live, he had things to do. So it's, it's, it's our, our love for him and our love of this community that really gives us this push, this urgency to, to have this mass mandate in place and enforced. Now we did check in with the healthcare community here about the mask mandate and Dr. Amanda Logue here at Oshner Lafayette General released a statement tonight expressing support of a mask mandate. Threes on the street live in Lafayette, Iman Boyd, KTC TV3.